What's going on guys, Clutch Hobo here. Today I'm bringing you a controller review and if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know I actually meant to do the unboxing also, but I mean, I stayed up all night, didn't go to sleep at all when it got here, so like, I really wanted to open it up, but I was really tired, so I didn't want to do the unboxing, because I just probably would mess up 50 times by how tired I was. But anyways, I've played with it all day, so now I'm ready for the review, and let's get right into it. Okay, so here's the controller that I got. See, I got a red and blue color scheme and then kept the default back plate. I got red and blue because that's our team colors, so just in case you didn't know that. Didn't get grips. There's tons more options that you can get on this with this website. I'll link it in the description down below. You can go check them out. It's Battle Beaver Custom Controller. And if you guys are wondering why I didn't get a scuff, I've had a scuff and a Battle Beaver on Xbox One. And my scuff broke within like two months of having it, or like four months or something like that. I don't know. It broke like really quickly though. And then I got a Battle Beaver for Xbox One, and I loved it. Didn't have any problems with it. And he uses buttons instead of paddles, as you can see. And I like these better because... The paddles are over here, so you have to stretch your fingers more, and like it doesn't feel comfortable for me. And these buttons, you can choose where you want them placed, but I always get standard, because standard fits perfect right here. And they just have more of a solid click to them, really, than a uh, scuff paddle, so I don't know. I like buttons a lot better. It's really a personal preference, but I think they work a lot better than the paddles. And... You can change the trim kit, that's all this stuff. You can change all that. There's tons of different colors on his website. I think you can get chrome on all that too. And he has hydro dip stuff, which that's like special patterns that they put on the controller. I went with the default blue faceplate because I like the way it looks. It's really clean, matte color. Uh, you can get the backplate in colors. Again, I just got black in that because I liked the black backplate for it. And thumbsticks, that's another thing. I got default because I use control freaks anyway, so getting domed thumbsticks wouldn't have really helped me since I use control freaks. But if you don't like control freaks and you'd like to try out a different type of thumbstick, then he offers domed on his website and I had domed on one of my Xbox One controllers because I hate the default thumbsticks for Xbox One. And I liked them, but I mean, PS4, I don't have a problem with their default thumbsticks, so I just kept them default on this. Another thing, like, you can get trigger stops on them. And I didn't get them because I feel like the PlayStation controller, I always stop halfway anyway. I don't know if it's because I've been playing on Xbox One and their triggers go down a lot farther or not. I don't know, but I didn't get trigger stops. I just think that I already stop halfway anyways. So. And I got X on this button and circle on this one because since I'm an esports player that's the best layout that you can do for it. And it, honestly like I've been getting a lot more punches than I usually do each game because it's just so much harder to like react it fast enough to reach over and hit that the second that you see somebody and if they have a controller like this and you don't you're definitely going to lose that but it's all around a great controller and if you guys are looking for a controller with buttons on the back or anything for esports then definitely go check out battle beaver customs again i'll leave their website in the description down below and i hope you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe if you're new thanks for watching